Well, ladies and gentlemen, we heard the introduction of uh, Shri Vinay Kumar GB, the founder and uh, director of Insights. And uh, right from the word go, a sense of uh, dynamism is instilled in the mind of uh, Vinay Kumar. And if you see him, we heard one of the candidates saying that uh, on the first batch when I met Mr. Vinay, he said that you are going to clear IAS. So he is no astrologer, he believes in hard work and that's what it is being repaid. So let's give a round of applause for Mr. Vinay Kumar for believing in the ability of each and every individual and motivating them. So I won't take uh, much of your time. So all the dignitaries, thank you so much for coming. I'm a little bit nervous actually. So I, th I think it's very common. Uh, so my, there was a biggest turn in my life uh, in 2013. So when I got selected in KAS. I'll just take a few seconds because my heart is like pumping like anything. So that especially when I have to speak uh, in front of such a luminaries. So in 2013, I got selected in KS, and then uh, there was so much corruption. As you know, in state PSCs, there is so much corruption. And then uh, Sidra Mayasar was the chief minister, and uh, he took the most bravest, fearless action of canceling the list, and that was the turning point. I didn't have a job. So what happened? I didn't run behind courts. I didn't run behind people. Instead, I started creating my own opportunity. I started this Insights IAS blog. And in 2014, January, I came to Bangalore with zero rupees, without anything, and started an offline batch with 40 students. And thanks to the turning point, so where I took a brave decision, so now we have more than 6,000 students studying in Bangalore in our institution. <laughs> and in 2014, our ranks were five. And nowadays, because of multiple branches, online initiatives, and special interventions like you know interview guidance and uh, essay guidance, ethics guidance, we are able to get 200 plus ranks in a year. And this room now is a unique congregation of 120 plus UPSC toppers, where we have nearly 120 IAS, IPS, and other central services officers. And also, this unique congregation is unique because, so we have three luminaries, whom I believe represent three unique values. So one, wisdom, one integrity, and another justice. And they have done immense work in their own respect, respective fields of spirituality, politics, and delivering justice. So what I believe, as a toppers who have come here, will not only have better experiences, you will also go out with immense wisdom, which will be shared by these three luminaries. And the more students started coming to Bangalore, Nowadays, Bangalore is the second most preferred destination for UPSC. When students from all over Karnataka, all over India started coming, so they included poor students as well. And another link that I find with our Honorable CM is that the initiative of Indira Canteens. So I see that students who are poor, they were able to have a healthy meal at a very low price and sustain themselves in city like Bangalore where the living cost is becoming exorbitant. Thanks to you, sir. Now, I, you know, I feel so proud about myself that you know, the cycle has completed. In 2013, it started as a turning point in my life and I never expected, you know, never imagined my life that a day would come where uh, I will have the privilege of inviting him as the chief guest and you know, uh, witnessing this occasion. Secondly, Shri, Shri Jagadguru, my father studied in Sirigarya Mat at free of cost. He was able to get good education because of the mercy and you know, of the generosity of the uh, Shri 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 uh, sitting in front of us. And I, I, he had the gratefulness 
and he transferred the similar gratitude and humility uh, in, in his sons. And I wanted to repay in small uh, magnitude and then invited and he readily accepted. And uh, thank you so much for coming here and you, know, you will be sharing your wisdom and we are looking for that. And finally, for all the toppers who are sitting here, I just have small three suggestions to give. I'm not as a big person as those who are sitting on the dais. First, stay humble. I believe humility is the ladder to further success. Second, you have to keep learning. So don't stop learning, keep learning. And the more you learn, the more society will value you as a person and your knowledge and your intellect. Third one, use your success to spread further success. So because this is not the end of road for you, this is not the ultimate success that you have achieved. Just like the three great people sitting here who have used all of their learning, wisdom, experience, success to reach to millions of people, I hope all of you who are sitting here will do the similar thing to the society and make our nation more inclusive, more secular, more truly developed in coming days. Thank you so much.